Come, you blessed of my Father, says the Lord. I was sick and you visited me. Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of the least of my brethren, you did for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today the church celebrates the feast of St. Camillus de Lellas, comes to us from the late 16th, early 17th century, known for working with the sick. He's a founder of a religious community that still continues with about a thousand members today doing the same. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who adorned the priest St. Camillus with a singular grace of charity toward the sick, pour out upon us by his merits a spirit of love for you, so that serving you in our neighbor we may at the hour of our death pass safely over to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Woe to those who plan iniquity and work out evil on their couches. In the morning light they accomplish it when it lies within their power. They covet fields and seize them, houses and they take them. They cheat an owner of his house, a man of his inheritance. Therefore thus says the Lord, Behold, I am planning against this race an evil from which you shall not withdraw your necks, nor shall you walk with head high, for it will be a time of evil. On that day a satyr shall be sung over you, and there shall be a plaintive chant. Our ruin is complete. Our fields are portioned out among our captors. The fields of my people are measured out, and no one can get them back. Thus you shall have no one to mark out boundaries by lot in the assembly of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Why, O Lord, do you stand aloof? Why hide in times of distress? Proudly the wicked harass the afflicted who are caught in the devices the wicked have contrived. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. For the wicked man glories in his greed and the covetous blasphemes sets the Lord at naught. The wicked man boasts he will not avenge it. There is no God, sums up his thoughts. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. His mouth is full of cursing, guile, and deceit. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He lurks in ambush near the villages. In hiding, he murders the innocent. His eyes spy upon the unfortunate. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. You do see, for you behold misery and sorrow, taking them in your hands. On you the unfortunate man depends. Of the fatherless, you are the helper. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him, and he cured them all. But he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will, contend, he will not contend or cry out nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Christ. 
Today in our parish, we have First Communion, another round of them we had last night. About 20 young boys and girls received their First Holy Communion, and we have another ceremony today at 9 o'clock. It means I have to be a bit short in the homily today if we're going to also get through the novena as well before families start arriving and the setup has to happen. You'll see the center aisle already has the banners of the kids. Please leave them where they are, you know, as we uh, don't take them with you because the kids are going to take them with them uh, as they finish. Pray for them on this busy, big day in their lives. Um, you hear it's, it's not positive, feel-good readings today. The prophet Micah, we've switched to, and Micah talks about how God has had it again with his people, and you're going to try to do things, and you're going to fail, and all sorts of bad things are going to happen, right? Then we hear what happens in the responsorial psalm, where even in there we have that plea, do not forget the poor, do not forget us, O Lord. And then the beginning of the gospel, that Jesus, that the Pharisees take counsel against him. Jesus must be put to death, they say, right? And this is from a, the Pharisees who embraced the law and what was greater than the commandment, you shall not kill. That's how much they detest. Sometimes we have in our lives difficult things that happen. And what a great saint today to reflect on. So I can't talk a lot about him, but St. Camillus de Lellis. If you're one who feels like every time I take three steps forward, I fall one or two steps back, he's your guy. He's your ultimate victory, but not without a lot of struggle. He had a difficult life growing up. Uh, father died young. Um, difficulties in, in developed a, an addiction to gambling. Um, became a soldier. Was thrown out because of a sickness, because of a wound. Uh, he's in the hospital. He wants to help in the hospital. They refuse to let him in to help him take. He tries to join a religious community. And again, they keep him until they realize that that wound isn't healing and they don't want to be responsible for caring for him if it gets worse. What does he do? He prays to God, Lord, God of mercy, what do I do? You know, do not forget the poor. He founds his own religious community. Seeing the need for those who will tend to natural needs, to the physical needs, the medical needs, and the supernatural needs, he founds a community called the Ministers to the Sick. And so if you see a Camillan today, uh, the initials M-I are there, the Ministrum Infirmarium, the Ministers of the Sick. About a thousand of these uh, religious who work with the sick uh, are in the world today. Um, visiting Rome, you can visit the tomb of, of St. Camillus in a church not far from the Pantheon, St. Mary Magdalene. It's at a church, it's connected to a, to a building that was given by the Pope to Camillus to, for his community to fix up, to use, and, and to uh, make the, the sort of headquarters of their order. Uh, even a relic of his heart, you can see in glass, uh, uh, if you're into that sort of thing. A reminder for us to persevere in our lives, that sometimes all the struggles in the end will pay off. We just have to be strong enough to ride them out and to keep going. Please stand. Placing our hope in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ, we bring to God our needs and desires. For those discerning a call to religious life or the priesthood, May the Holy Spirit guide them in their decision-making, we pray to the Lord. For elected leaders of every nation, may God strengthen their desire to do good and act justly, we pray to the Lord. For those oppressed in any way, may God encourage them to persevere in faith and hope, we pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the Lord grant us peace in our hearts and compassion for one another, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they enjoy eternity with God, we pray to the Lord. For Lynn, or for Lynn Person and for uh, God's blessings and the fifth, on the 50th wedding anniversary of Vicky and Rocco Panzerino, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we place our trust in your love and justice. In your mercy, please hear our petitions which we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people and grant that we who celebrate your son's work of boundless charity may, by the example of blessed Saint Camillus, be confirmed in love of you and of neighbor through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Return light to us and receive you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. This is how all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another, says the Lord. And for those who are watching by live stream, we offer a spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we, who are renewed by these sacred mysteries, may follow the example of blessed Saint Camillus de Lillis, who honored you with tireless devotion and by surpassing charity was of service to your neighbor through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord.